from around the globe, it's theCUBE, with digital coverage of AWS reInvent 2020, sponsored by Intel, AWS, and our community partners. Hi, welcome to theCUBE virtual. You're watching our coverage of AWS reInvent 2020. We are theCUBE virtual, and I'm your host, Keith Townsend. Today I'm joined with Steve McMillan, CEO, President of Teradata. Stephen, welcome to the show. Hey Keith, great to be here today. Glad to be joining you. So Teradata, this is a big, exciting market, analytics in the public cloud, but let's start with a little history. I remember Teradata as being the thing that I threw my SAP data sets at, my big data on-premises and asking questions of Teradata. How's the public cloud changed Teradata's business? Look, I think Teradata has got a fantastic heritage. We've uh, you know, been in the cloud, the data analytics business now for over 40 years. So in fact, you could say that uh, Teradata invented data analytics. Uh, the cloud for us is just a really exciting opportunity. It gives our customers another deployment option. Oh, and we are looking at how we can take our, take our capabilities from on-prem and extend those into the cloud. And that's really what a lot of uh, Teradata's existing customers are looking for. But um, we also see tremendous opportunity as uh, customers are responding to their market and their environments. They want to use the cloud as a platform, an agile platform. And we're finding that they can see the benefits of using Teradata in terms of performance and scale and given a level of insight into the data that they've got in the cloud that other platforms can touch. So we're talking about real time current issues that's going on in customer environments. Talk to me about kind of the topic du jour, the pandemic. How has the pandemic impacted your customer environments, the overall market, the need for this type of analytics capabilities? I think um, the pandemic has just been a, an accelerant for a lot of transformation for companies. Um, and you know that uh, the, the situation with COVID-19 globally has really resulted in a need for companies to be able to respond very agilely to an uncertain environment and a, an environment that's changing all of the time. Um, you know, AWS as a cloud provider can provide that level of agility um, what Teradata does sitting on top of AWS is provide a level of business insight that uh, enables companies to use their data to dynamically respond to the situations that are in front of them today, even as that changes day by day or hour by hour or minute to minute. So I've talked to a lot of customers who have looked at the public cloud as a way to respond, accelerate their businesses in the era of the uh, pandemic, but let's talk about long -term, longer term vision. How are customers going to use Teradata moving forward in the post pandemic world? Look, I think that uh, just from a, a data strategy perspective, um, cloud is one aspect of it, but really what our customers want to get from the data is real insights that help them transform how their businesses work, especially in these changing uh, times. So businesses we find are overwhelmed by the amount of data they've, they've got. There's never a day in the world where there's less data than there was the day before. And coping with that explosion of data, getting real insights so that you can work out what you're going to do, that is what we believe forms the basis of a long-term data strategy. So help me paint the picture for customers as they look at their multi-cloud or hybrid cloud environments in which, you know, I have my systems of record on premises still. I have my next generation customer facing applications in the public cloud. I have all this transactional customer experience data. How does Terra data help bridge those worlds? That's where I think uh, Terra data is uniquely placed. You know, we bring that 40 years of heritage and investment in data analytics, and it, we help our customers take that into the cloud. Um, we see most of our customers now have a, a cloud strategy 
I was reading an industry report the other day that said that, you know, on average, uh, organizations will have seven clouds that they have to deal with. Many customers are deploying on AWS because they see it as a great cloud platform where they can extend their on-prem data uh, uh, capabilities into the cloud, use the facilities and features of AWS combined with uh, Teradata to really transform the, the data fabric and the analytics uh, capabilities of their organization. So it's really that combination that is, uh, provides some unique opportunities for our customers. And again, like using Teradata in the AWS cloud provides unprecedented uh, scale, a scale that we've uh, been able to develop in our technology over the last, uh, over the last few decades. And we take that know-how and deploy it in the Amazon cloud so that customers have a great degree of control. They can optimize how their queries run inside the environment. They can get degrees of uh, cost certainty that they don't otherwise have. They can govern their data in, in ways that gives them complete control and security over um, the analytics, the insights that they make available so that they can really change how their companies operate. So obviously you, you run a sizable business, a mature business that's finding this incredible growth mechanism. But at the end of the day, when your employees come to you with a new idea, you want to know what's the return on investment. You know, money isn't free. Resources aren't free. You have limited staff, just like everyone else. Talk to me about the return on investment from Terrigate. So I think Teradata really offers the ability to get that cost per query and the sweet spot for our customers. So um, we've done a number of things. We've made a cost calculator available on our website so that um, uh, our, our customers um, can look at and compare how much it costs to run inside um, a Teradata environment on an AWS cloud and how, much, how that compares to all of the other options that may be available to them. And what we see is often an order of magnitude difference in terms of uh, the cost profile for running Teradata and getting true business level insights from the data that they have compared to some of the competitive solutions out there. And that may really surprise some of your uh, uh, viewers, uh, Keith, in terms of you know, that's not usually what you'd associate Teradata with. What you associate Teradata with is you know, an absolutely robust system that's completely mission critical, but to be able to get those features in a really uh, controlled environment where the cost per query is optimized, you know, we've got consumption-based pricing models that enables that return and investment curve that you were talking about to be achieved really early on in the process of using our technologies. So I've been part of these big, massive projects within enterprises where we look at these, whether it's data lakes, uh, unstructured data, et cetera. We want to ask big questions of them. The big problem with that has always been cost overruns. These projects always, always, in my experience, go over budget. How does the combination of AWS, which has the potential to have unlimited budget, and Teradata, which solves basically an unlimited budget issue or addresses an unlimited budget problem, how do you help control that risk and avoid cost overrun? Yeah, so um, you know, working in an environment like AWS, which is completely elastic, um, really does give tremendous value to uh, our, our combined customer set. But as you said, that elasticity comes at a cost. So in order to make sure that um, our customers run the most important queries that they get the most value from, we utilize technologies that we've taken from our on-prem deployments, things like query optimization and workload management. And that, that lets us give our customers a degree of control in that uh, environment that they wouldn't otherwise have. So we're, we're really excited about the future of Teradata and the AWS cloud. Now we've spent a lot of time talking about, about the AWS cloud, but a lot of customers simply aren't there. A lot of them are just reacting to the pandemic as a need as a need for today. Do I have to be all in in AWS and public cloud in general to take advantage of all of these advantages of all of these capabilities? 
what we are what we want to do from a Teradata Vantage perspective is really promote it as a platform and a platform that can be used um, across all of the cloud environments and into the on-prem uh, environment if you have Teradata Vantage deployed in your on-prem uh, situation. So we're all about opening up choice and flexibility. And flexibility. You know, the Teradata technology really enables our customers not just to have a data mark view of things where, you know, you're pulling out simple queries on, you know, the rear view mirror of what happened, but our analytics technology lets you get into questions like, well, why did that event happen? What's going to happen next? And what should we do to proactively plan that? You know, when we see use cases like um, the internet of things where, you know, there's pr uh, preventative and predictive maintenance on lots of devices out there, and you can imagine the amount and volume of data that's getting consumed. And we analyze that data real time, give real insights to make recommendations to really enable a, an organization that's servicing these uh, machines, you know, the, the right level of insight to optimize how they're working on a day-to-day -day basis is, is really exciting. So we're, again, we're now shifting the conversation back over the public cloud in consumption. How do I consume Teradata Advantage in AWS? We've got a number of different deployment models in terms of uh, consuming Teradata Advantage. So you can you can have a pay-as-you-go model, which means you know you can start at nothing and work up over time. Our consumption model is really unique because we actually, uh, we bill on the basis of what we call logical IO, which means that it's only when queries work inside the environment that a customer gets billed for it. So you don't just get charged by walking into the room and having the light switch on. You only get charged when that light is doing something uh, meaningful for you and your organization and actually res uh, uh, resulting in insights for you as a company. We've also got blended pricing models so you can uh, work out what the optimum deployment uh, model is for Teradata Vantage inside the cloud. So lots of choice. We're all about giving that flexibility and choice in terms of uh, how we operate. So you hit on the topic of IoT, but let's hit that dead on and talk about another hot part of not just the IT conversation, but the cloud conversation, and especially data analytics, the edge. How does a solution like Vantage play with data sets that live at the edge and have to be queried at the edge? You know, one of the great things about Teradata Vantage and how we're looking at it just now, you know, if, if we think about what you may recall as Teradata, the desire was to try and get everything into uh, Teradata and have all the data captured inside that, uh, that ecosystem. That doesn't work as well in the cloud world. What we're all about is opening up that platform. So I, some of your viewers may be surprised. We now integrate with, uh, you know, 18 of the AWS services to really start opening the platform up. We give access to from Teradata into native object stores and cloud environments so that you know, customers don't have to duplicate data. They don't have to copy it into Teradata and have that data locked in there. We can access a whole plethora of uh, data capture mechanisms that um, the cloud providers, AWS, make available you know, in terms of uh, those APIs and those calls calls so that we can integrate it all together and give the best possible set of data sources for Teradata Vantage to work on. So really exciting time in terms of opening up that platform, being really modern in terms of looking at the data fabric that our customers have and how they're using these uh, cloud services on a day-to-day -day basis and integrating that with the power of Vantage. Steve McMillan, President and CEO of Teradata, we really appreciate it. 40 years of analytics history, we're seeing the movement in public cloud where we're going from these companies that we put our all our data into centralized, adapting to the reality of edge, data center, public cloud, meeting us where the data is at. We're super excited to now promote you into an alum of the queue. Make sure to Join us for additional coverage of AWS reInvent 2020 on The Cube.